problem there. The, it's not some teeth off the little drive wheel there. So we'll have a little go with them and see how we get on. Welcome to this week's Richard on the Old John Deere. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you ring the bit, little bell, you'll get notifications of my videos every week. Uh, oh, don't forget to give us a like as well. Thank you. These are my Heinegger cattle clippers. I've been having a few problems with them. Um, there's a little cog in here that drives the... Well, I'll show you the little video of me fixing them. So these are my cow clippers. But unfortunately, it stopped working. The motor was going in the handset, but the blades weren't moving. So I've took it apart. And that's the problem there. The, it's not some teeth off the little drive wheel there. So, but I've ordered some new ones which have arrived this morning. So we'll see if we can get them fitted. Get back up and running. Get the uh, clip off there. It's got it. There you go. Pull that out. There you can see where it's knocked the teeth out of there. There you go. I've got my little drive wheel back in there. New uh, clip on. And I've put a, a new block in there that drives this back and forward. That's the old one. It was it's pretty worn. So hopefully they'll run a bit smoother and quieter now. So I'll have them reassembled and then off we go. So I've got them all put back together nicely. Got my extension cable fitted up and ready to go. I switched it on and it was going fine. All right, I thought I haven't set my camera up, so I'm not, I switched it off. Set the camera up, and when I came back to it, I switched it on, it went and then it just stopped. And that was it. So I don't know if it's the motor or the electrics inside or what but uh, it's gone off so I thought do I spend a lot more money trying to get it fixed again so I decided to treat myself to a new set of clippers I put a little post on Facebook to see what other what sort of clippers I should get whether I should go for another set with the lead on or go for cordless ones or whatever Put a post on and I got quite a few replies as to what I should buy. So I happen to be in one of the local suppliers that I deal with this week and they just happen to have they just happen to have a set of these which is what quite a few people recommended. They come in a nice shiny little case to keep them in. Shear cordless rechargeable animal clippers. There you go. Let's have a look and see what we get in the box. Instruction book. That's a cover to go over your blades there. We've got one, two, three batteries which are numbered so you know which ones you've used. They're not all just the same. So you can see which ones you've been using. There's a charger there with a three pin plug. 
Uh, oil to oil them with. Your little tool for changing the blades and what have you. Taking it to pieces. And a little brush to keep it clean there. That's your nice handset. It's got the clip to hold the battery in place. So, which way does that go in now? It must go in that way. That's it clipped in there. Take the protector off there. And there we go. These are my new toy. <laughs> we'll be these girls here. I'll be letting them out, seeing if we can give them a little clip ready for winter along the backs and clip the tails. Because my other ones were broken, I haven't got them done up to now, but we'll get them done now and I'll get to try out these new bad boys. I suppose the advantage is we haven't got a cable trailing everywhere. These are all cordless, so they're all in your hand. You don't have to worry about the cables or getting an extension lead to where you want them. I suppose you can use these anywhere. And they feel quite comfortable in the hand. So we'll have a little go with them and see how we get on. got the first one in here so we'll get the clippers and see how they go let's put a little bit of oil on there and get into the oil pot Let's have a look. See if I'm supposed to get the seal out of there, or get the oil out of there, or whatever. Uh, 
ada. It's yeah, runny stuff, isn't it? Right, a moment of truth. Well, that's about it for this week, guys. Hope you found this week's video interesting. I'm very pleased with my new clippers. They seem to power through the dirty bits, no problem. And uh, the batteries have lasted really well. I did quite a few cows and I used a full battery and I was into the second battery, but 
that's pretty good. I was quite happy with that. They seem to do a, fair, a decent job. They're not quite as... When I was using my high nigger ones, they cut a bit neater. But for what we need to do at the moment, for clipping backs and tails, these are perfect. They do a, a great job. We gave my dad a good send off this week. So, <sighs> and I would just like to thank all the people that came to the funeral and all the people that have sent us cards and messages. And it does mean a lot when you know people are thinking about you. So thanks everybody. He would have been very happy with the service. I think it was just his kind of service. The church was full and there's quite a few people standing. It's amazing how many you can get in when it's a cold and damp day outside, isn't it? So he chose his own hymns. We had, oh God, our help in ages past. The Lord's my shepherd and abide with me. So he chose them and uh, my daughter, my dad's granddaughter. That's pretty obvious, isn't it? Read a nice little poem. I, I managed to put together a little eulogy for him, which went reasonably well, I think. And I think it all went very well. Ian, the vicar, was... He hasn't known him very long, but I thought he did amazingly well. I think he's, he's met him a few times, but not that long because the vicar's only been here six months. And for quite a lot of that time, my dad was in hospital. Over the last six months, he spent more than three months of it in hospital, in and out a few times. Now, my dad always enjoyed a good funeral tea. And I think Tracy Graham did him proud. I think everybody that was there really enjoyed it. And I'm sure if Bobby had been there, he would have enjoyed it too. So. Rest in peace, Bobby. Cheers. Well, that's it for this week. So until next week, this is Richard on the old John Deere saying bye for now. Bye, you all. Bye.